watch this place. This place is pretty neat. By pretty neat, I mean there's big freaking fish that live down here. Now, whether we're gonna catch them or not, that's up in the air, but we do have time. I don't know if I'm gonna be here one day, two days, two weeks. There's a lot of unknowns right now. All I know for sure is I'm gonna get some baits in the water. We're gonna try to catch something really big, and I'm gonna set up camp. I brought about everything but the kitchen sink, so should be good for a while. One nice channel cat to fry up would be nice, so. All right, let's go. Like I said, everything but the kitchen sink. It's amazing I fit all that crap in a kayak. But, that's why I got a big kayak. Kind of getting hungry already. Brought some stuff to cook, brought some brats, some eggs, good stuff like that, leftovers. Can heat back up, but it's nice to have a bag of jerky. It'd be nice to catch about a three pound channel cat. If I do, he gonna be dinner. I need to quit screwing around. Should probably get fishing. No rods in water equals no fish. I can't do anything effectively on an empty stomach. Most things I can't even do effectively with food in my gut. All right, we'll give her a try. Got a nice cut up sucker. 10 knot triple threat circle hook. Should probably trim that tag just a smidge more. Right there. That's where it's at. Try and bomb him a ways. As far as this wind will let me anyway. Ah! Definitely threw it right in the tree. Felt it. Oh, that sucks. First cast. Oh. That is the reality of fishing. Oh, I got everything back? How's it look? Bait, hook, sharp, knots, knots, knot, good. 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 Oh, good. All right, I'm not gonna throw it quite that far. Actually, I'm gonna throw it to the left a little more. I hate this wind already. And it ain't supposed to lay down much. Got that angled real nice. Gonna back the drag down and put the clicker on. Anything pulls that. Get pretty excited. Oh. Might blow my kayak over. I think we have live action. It's hard to tell with this wind, but that pull bob pretty good. Yeah, I'll be ready for this wind to die down. I mean, I saw one of them bites that just buried. Yeah, he's on there. Just kidding. Must be a little. That's good though, bites right off the bat, even if they are just channies. His channies are dinner. One more throw and then I better go take care of him. Gosh, ugly. Oh, I got something else. Caught a little flathead in two shad. That is hilarious. Little flathead cruising the flat. I guess there's flatheads here. Questioning it. Oh, I got a little little carp looking dude. He must have been chasing them little guys around. Oh, I'm getting hit on that rod. Hey, little buddy. Nothing like catching flatheads in any way other than rod and reel. He's pretty. All right, I'll, I'll leave you alone, bud. Sorry to bother you. Hopefully you get about 100 pounds. Add that to the bait pile. Alrighty, I throw netted me a nice little, you know, micro carp. I caught another carp. I'm going to put it on there alive. He's about half this big. Thought about putting him out alive, but he'll be good cut bait. So we're going to reel this one in and put a bigger hook on, and we'll put that big old carp head on there after I dispatch him. I think the hardest thing about throwing a bait like this is try not to get too excited because, I mean, the possibilities are kind of endless, but... Um, it's a pretty low percentage bait overall. You're going to get a lot of taps probably from little fish pecking at it. But, big boys. Sometimes like them a big chunk. Alright, we'll put the rest of him away in the baggie of goodness. Oh, uh, we got something going down. 
he ain't huge, huge, but he ain't little, little. I looked over and she was folded down. Might be lunch. Oh, it might be gone. <laughs> He might have just been barely hanging on it. That sucks. Don't know what else to do for that one. He only liked half a sucker. Lose one, rig one. Maybe he let go because he saw I, I had my pants wrapped up and he uh, didn't want to get caught by somebody wearing capris. Which, you know, I mean... <laughs> I don't blame him. I'm not a fan of capris either. I just didn't want to get my pants wet. Go get him, bud. I don't know if it's getting bit already or if that's the wind or if it's just ticking the current or if there's a great white shark nibbling on it. Your guess is as good as mine. You get back to work though. Been watching a little fella just peck at it and peck at it and peck at it for like 10 minutes. Let Big Dad come around, teach you how it's done. It's bait swapping out time. And the fun thing is I just made one throw at the net and got three little baits, so I'm gonna snip their tails off, chuck them out. Yeah, they call this the three-headed dragon. Maybe I should be smarter and throw out small baits. I'm getting lots of packs and stuff, and I'm betting every one of them was either be a turtle or a fine eating sized channel cat. Considering I'm mowing down my food at an alarming rate, that could be an issue. This pork chop's pretty freaking good though. Dear kitty kitty! I'm talking to you. Got camp set up, sleeping arrangements, got a nice little podcast airing. Kick back, relax. She doesn't suck. Fishing isn't great. I'm definitely enjoying myself. It's been slow, and I'd say it's getting even slower. The turtles aren't even pecking on my baits anymore. Thing is, when it's slow, if you're confident in your spot, stay put. If you're not confident in your spot, move. Or if you're like me, and you don't have much of a choice, well, you just stay put and see what happens. So I guess, I guess I'll just stay put and see what happens. Something had to change. That sun's nice. Maybe the bite will pick up. Maybe it won't. I don't know. I'm looking forward to that wind dying down so I cook me some brats. Oh, I just got a nibble. Probably turtle. I need a turtle right now. River rats, it is slow right now. I've been casting baits. That one's untouched. My live bait over there is uh, something had it halfway down his throat but couldn't get to the hook. This one keeps getting pecked at by turtles, and every once in a while something will come by and make a half-hearted attempt at it. But, you know, in their defense, I am using baits that are kind of ridiculously large. Because I, uh, I don't know. I got plenty of food for tonight, but uh, I'm going to have to catch like a two to five pound channel cat at some point in time to eat on. But I'm going to be stubborn until then bend over fishing rod so big watching this stupid so big. dude on youtube catch flatheads as like hog that. patrol or some crap like, like that. that need to get me some flatheads or something how long has this clip been going got to put that down the sun feels nice oh, i just saw fish finning right there that's kind of cool that's pretty neat it's little things being stuck out here and I say stuck in like the fondest sort of way once again hoping the Sun goes down and good things happen saw another fish come up you know when the fishing slow there are a handful of things that will definitely cheer me up and bratwurst are one of them I enjoy that sound a lot it's like a rocket taking off. Got the Cajun style andouille sausage. You know when fish hit too, don't you? When you're doing something else, like cooking, or texting, or uh, peeing. That seems to be one where it happens a lot. 
there's probably like a certain way you should cook andouille sausage and this probably isn't it but this is the way it's happening you know I don't think I've ever cooked an andouille sausage before how do you know when they're done? are they like a bratwurst? I'll just let that one marinate oh yeah those look quite edible to me I'm gonna wrap them in a tortilla and I'm gonna put some hot sauce on them and life's gonna be grand that, that's pretty good now I just need a little catfish in my life river rats it's getting cold and buggy which is like an oxymoron because when I think of bugs I think of hot weather but if you ain't swatting mosquitoes you ain't catching flatheads at least that's my experience sadly these are just a bunch of stupid gnats trying to crawl up my nose plenty of room I suppose it's just about happy hour Time to wake up, guys. You've been snoozing all day. You probably can't see it, but there's two beavers, like, fighting. Or making out. I'm not sure which. Apparently they're done. Oh, he's still on there. I have an actual bite. This is kind of nice. It was not pretty me getting out of my tent. I'll tell you that much. What do we have? Feels like a channel cat. Put a piece of sucker on there before I laid down. Feels like a channel cat because it is a channel cat. You know what? I will take you. That's a muddy channel cat. Um, I don't know, dudes. It's like midnight. I can't think straight in my best state of mind. I don't know what to say. It's been a rough day. But that is a fish. Um, I'm going to keep him. I don't know what I'm going to use for a stringer. But yeah, I'm going to eat him for lunch tomorrow. He's about right. When you're camping and you can't take a shower, deodorant is very, very important, just for the record. I say deodorant's important like when you're not camping, it's not important. That's not true. Wear your deodorant all the time. Honestly, didn't expect myself to be this hungry on this trip, but here I am stuff in my face I guess when you're not catching fish you got plenty of time to think about other stuff Ooh, I do have bacon alrighty do I eat the bacon cold I don't know definitely not gonna eat these hash browns cold though I'll tell you that much if you're like why are the hash browns are orange because they're sweet potato hash browns what makes them hash browns I don't know you could argue they're not, I guess. We'll heat them up real quick and add some eggs. How much bacon do I have? I don't know how much bacon I have now, but I know how much bacon I'm going to have when I'm done. The eggs are usually kind of a pain, but I put them in the Ziploc, the mob. The whole strip's about perfect. And it's fairly sturdy. Not as likely to crack your eggs. They make egg containers, but I didn't have time to run to Walmart to get one, and I had one of these already. Yes. And I'll have three more for tomorrow morning. Now the only thing I need is to be interrupted by a bait clicker screaming. It's a big old fancy boat. I like that thing. Oh, hit a log. 
been there. Or I guess it could have been a carp, too. Oh, that's a cop. Well, that was a nice little conversation. Dude was super nice. Apparently somebody drowned upriver from here, so uh, he's out looking around trying to find some closure, I guess. So I will keep my eyes peeled as well. Not the best news in the world in that respect, but he was a pretty, pretty nice guy, pretty easy to talk to, so that was cool. Thing about putting a small bait on, getting lots of those taps like that, and elephants eat peanuts every once in a while too. I need to get some more bait though. I do know that. We might have a fish. Oh, might actually have some size. He didn't pull anything off the clicker though. But he ain't easy to move. But I guess nine and a half foot rod. Hopefully he just stays hooked. That's all I'm worried about right now. He bounced it pretty good. He's not doing a whole lot though. He's probably, yeah, it's because he's coming in like a corkscrew. I'm basically reeling in a propeller catfish. Fat channel cat. Oh, there he freaks out. He's all rolled up in it. I put a double hook rig on. So that's why he's coming in like a propeller. But that is a fish. That's what a catfish looks like. I kind of forgot. So it's it's nice to be reminded. He, uh, he bit at the right time too. He bit after his buddy. So he is not going to be lunch. My plan was to take the kayak out and do a little exploring once it warmed up, but it's not going to warm up. It's like 55 degrees out. It was supposed to be 85 today when I originally planned on this trip. But Mother Nature's like, you suck, and I'm not helping. So I guess it is what it is. All right, I'll put you back in the water. Not in the frying pan. I generally rank the likelihood of spot being productive by how difficult it is to get there. Partially because, you know, like less pressure and partially because I like adventure. This isn't the hardest place to get to, but it's not the easiest. And I say the fishing reflects that. Sometimes alright, sometimes not so alright. I am officially hungry. Sorry, my little friend. The time has come. I'm going to bleed him out. I'm going to flay him out. I'm going to chunk him up. Make some catfish nugs. Fish is dismantled. I'm going to cut him into some chunks. I have a cutting board. I'm sitting in my truck. Sure would be nice at this exact moment in time. But I have time. So even if it's a pain in the butt cutting these, I got the time. Loving some catfish and nuggins. As far as red meat goes, like people say you need to cut out the red meat, and I agree, yellow meat too, if you're grilling them or doing something fancy like that. But if you're just going to fry them, maybe it makes a difference, maybe it doesn't. I can't tell. But you can fry about anything and make it edible. I wouldn't fry a turd, but that's just me. She's rock and rolling. Time to let her get hot. I'm going to bread some fish. Life's going to be good. Life's pretty good right now, but it's about to take a step up in the goodness. It's got to be close, right? Oh, yeah. She ready. Get in there. Yep. Sizzle you up. some big chunks. I think that's enough for this round. I think there's a stick stuck in the burner because I can smell, it smells like pine burning. Not complaining, it's a nice smell. At least I hope that's what it is. The flip is crucial. 
Who is calling me in this time of focus? Josh, Pig Patrol. Probably a loser. What do you want? We're almost to the end. Oh, that was like phenomenal. Still waiting for that 50 pounder to interrupt me. But if he doesn't, I'm not gonna cry about it because I have some catfish. It is the official moment of truth. That's pretty freaking good. Huh, that was hot. No good though. All right, I'm gonna grab my hot sauce, my tortillas. I'm gonna finish this round up. I'm gonna get cleaned up and then settle in for a night of hopefully big fish. We're getting closer to happy hour. Um, the bugs are coming out, swarming me. Oh, there's a beaver over there. What's up, beave? He's been stalking me for hours. It's about to go in there and wrestle him. Well, my bait's excited at least. Hopefully that means he's down there getting chased by like a 70 pounder right now. Oh, he dropped it. There was life though. I was planning on waking up at 5, getting an early start. It's not five. <laughs> but I feel good. I feel refreshed. You shut up. Not in the mood. From a fishing perspective, this trip sucked. Two days, two channel cats. Had one blue cat hit. But, I mean, I... Different body of water. Something you're unfamiliar with. What other excuses can I think of? Anyway, for real though, I really like camping here. This is a cool little camping spot. And you're by water, so you could could catch something, technically. Um, unless your name is Spencer. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hope you enjoyed the camping. It's mostly a camping video. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Hope you catch a giant. And the catfish, they can kiss my...